Hey everyone, this is Jake. I am here with Kurt and Andrew Haynes. Um, we are doing kind of a special um, strongman throwdown at home gym con edition. Um, so Kurt and Andrew, they are the guys running this event. Um, it is one of the cooler things that you will find at home gym con. Um, and basically they're just going to run us through what are the, what are the events? What are the giveaways? Uh, we have a pricing change at the end, and we might just have a general discussion about um, the event in general, which is the Saturday of Home Gym Con on the main exhibition floor. Um, guys, thanks for hopping on, and uh, let's chat. Yeah, Jake, thanks for that intro. So last year we did not do a strongman competition. We did the log lift off, we did the deadlift, and uh, some of those events still might be happening this year. The big change is that this year we have a five event United States Strongman Federated competition. So we're gonna cover the events real quick and I'm gonna pass it to Andrew for the first one. Yeah, so uh, it's pretty straightforward. First event is a unique press medley. And so press medley meaning that you're gonna have to be running through a handful of different pressing events uh, or pressing implements. Athletes gonna have 60 seconds, pretty straightforward. They're gonna start with a uh, axle clean and press overhead. They'll get a down command. They can move on to the second in implement, which is a log clean and press. Once it's overhead, they'll get another down command. And then they're gonna to go to the last and third uh, implement, which is the circus dumbbell. And they're gonna clean and press that for max repetitions. Uh, so athletes will get a down command, of course, for each of those. And um, actually one of the things to, uh, to ask is, Kurt, did we decide, was it gonna be clean every single rep or is it gonna be a press away? I think that we just go with a press away. Now, mind you, if you have to put the circus dumbbell down, that's fine, that doesn't mean it's over. Basically, you're going until you call it or the time expires. Yeah, and so it's only 60 seconds, so it's gonna go really fast. So that's actually quite convenient for the athletes. Uh, and so that's that's basically the essence of the press medley event. Um, we are gonna be using Bartos equipment on the um, log. If my log holds up, we will have a Bartos log. Uh, we have for the women's classes and the men's lightweight class, we have an eight inch circus dumbbell from Bartos. And then um, the alternative log is gonna be the pit bull log, which Kurt is gonna bring. And we'll have those two going back and forth. And you know, if they beat up the logs, then we'll have to switch them out, but we'll figure it out. Absolutely. I don't know if there's anything you wanna add on the press there. No, I'm excited for that. Uh, the only thing to add on the press is the eight inch for the circus dumbbell for the lightweight man and the women's divisions. And then as we get up to the heavier weights, essentially once the log, sorry, once the circus dumbbell's loaded past 105 pounds, we're gonna be going to the big top circus dumbbell. So it's gonna be that old traditional strongman feel. And that'll be another, that'll be a, the big top from Bartos? Yes. Nice, very nice. All right, so the second event uh, to keep this moving along. So I'm actually holding this bar. And the reason I'm holding this bar is because it's like 10 feet long. So what we have is the Cerberus Kratos bar. This is the brand new Kratos Strongman deadlift bar, and this is what the deadlift event is going to be using. Uh, what we're going to be lifting off of is Bridgebuilt is making us a custom set of bulletproof uh, wagon wheels, essentially. Uh, they're going to be bulletproof brand. I'm sorry, they're going to be Bridgebuilt branded. Uh, I'm really excited to see what Patrick comes up with there. So we're going to be lifting from a 13 inch pole for max. Uh, we're going to be doing some pretty uh, easy jumps. If you jump on the Iron Podium website, you can see the weight and jump detail there. Uh, really excited for this event and this bar. I pulled on it this morning. It's got some nice whip to it. So if you're excited to see something uh, like the elephant bar deadlift or the mammoth bar, this is essentially the Cerberus version of that. So any other things for beautiful that, Andrew? No, that's a beautiful bar. I can't wait to play with that. That'll be fun. I'm kind of jealous you have it already in your gym. Yeah. Uh, all right. So then uh, I guess we'll, we can move over, over to the truck pool. Um, so the truck pool, and Kurt, you might have to clarify for me. So we have it labeled as a belt fed tr uh, sponsored truck pool. So I don't, I'm not sure is belt fed making the harness, and are we pooling still the first form truck? So belt fed is making a custom harness for this, and we are going to be pulling the first form truck. Uh, the rest of the details, so you're going to be actually using a two-inch pulling rope that's going to be secured 
to uh, some sort of stationary object. Uh, so I'll bring some gloves as well, just in case you need gloves. But yeah, super excited for that truck. Yeah. It's going to be really cool. A lot of if you want those uh, those cool photos of you doing something awesome, pulling a, the first form truck is up there in my book. It's going to be an incredibly photogenic event. I think it's going to be great to have first form truck. I mean, that thing is, I mean, it's amazing. I, I The marketing that they do with that is just out of this world. I love seeing it. Um, I, I don't want to know what the gas costs are on that thing to drive it around, but uh, quite unique. So athletes got 60 seconds and they're going to have 50 feet total that they have to pull this truck. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool. We're going to have uh, the anchor, um, uh, the rope anchored in front of them to another vehicle. And so they'll actually be anchored at the front and be able to pull with the harness behind. Um, it's, I don't know, pretty straightforward. You just grab the rope and pull like hell until you cross the line. And if you don't cross the line, you're going to get a measured distance, and that'll be your score. Absolutely. Uh, that'll go straight into the yoke and frame medley. So the yoke is going to be the Paladin yoke from Surplus Strength, and the frame is the Black Widow frame. Uh, I'll be bringing those in, and uh, that's going to be 50 feet down, 50 feet back. You're going to carry the yoke, and then you're going to transition to the frame. Once the frame crosses the line, we will count you for time. Unlimited drops, uh, however, uh, there will be a 60 second time limit. So if you fail to get all the way across, then we'll measure for distance. And that'll be how we rank that. All right. So yeah, I, knew, I, see, I see we have also a two second slide penalty for those who uh, slide a little too up, obviously. Yeah. So a sliding is a part of dropping sometimes. But if you're sliding on purpose, you will get called for it. Two second slide penalty. Yeah. So, yeah. Question on that uh, Black Widow frame, is there going to be different handle widths for men or women? No, nah, so or it'll, is be it a static, it'll be a static handle width, and the details, uh, I will actually get those added today to the Iron Podium ad just to make sure that people know what they're getting into, uh, but it will be a static width. That's awesome. It's a, okay. re it's a reasonable width, though. Yeah, yeah. It makes it a little bit easier on the on the judges and the volunteers for resetting and changing, getting ready for each division. That's great. Absolutely. Um, event number five. I, I, I actually really like event number five, and I think a lot of people will like it. It's a pretty exciting event. We, we see uh, different versions or variations of it all around the country at uh, different shows, but it is the Freedom Strength head-to-head -head sandbag over bar. Women are set to 48 inches. Men are set to 52 inches in height. Uh, we're going to be using the um, the surplus strength yoke to uh, do the uh, over bar, and it's going to be essentially what you what you imagine. It's going to be last man standing. Um, hopeful this event doesn't. There might be some amazingly strong athletes, and we might see some some repetitions in the in the 20 or 30 ranges. I don't know what to expect, but expect we'll it to be a little fight. painful and very gritty. Absolutely. Um, and just a note on the last man standing. So uh, if they're, to be clear on this last man standing, it's going to be for max repetitions. And uh, so if, if we run into an issue where there's like an odd number of athletes, essentially we will transition to a timed version of that uh, so that it's fair going across the board. Um, so don't think that last man standing is like, I did five reps, I was the last one in, and I crushed the guy who just did 30. It's going to be for the max reps, but the uh, the idea of having it head-to-head -head has that uh, kind of that world's strongest man feel, right, as they go into the uh, finals, that final event with the stone over bar. It's much more exciting for the spectators, too. I mean, that's just something that you can really bunker down and watch everybody drinking out of their cups. I mean, that's, that's a lot of fun. Uh, to also to clarify too, so we did in in terms of just making sure that the event doesn't linger on too long, and also to keep it pretty intense for the athletes, we did actually uh, implement a measure of time that the athletes will have 30 seconds to get the bag over the bar, and um, so that's going to be actually pretty big. And a lot of other events, sometimes you know you're given a little bit of extra time to catch your breath and go. Uh, so we are going to try to control for that factor a little bit just to keep the clock moving, especially knowing that we're going to have a lot of athletes to get through. So um, really, that's about it for our events. That's all five events. That's straightforward. I don't know, Jake, what do you think? Do you think this is going to be uh, pretty exciting? Do you think the spectators are, are you know, going to be enjoying watching this? 
Man, I think the the equipment lineup that you guys have is spectacular. And then I also just really love hearing you guys, <clears throat> excuse me, going over all of the like minor details that you thought about it. Um, really cool. I think um, for anyone listening to this, um, you know, it's 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 pretty cool to like for the athletes. It's pretty cool to hear like what went into it, what's going on, and then even people who are going to, going to come watch, like just like what went into this. Um, so it's really cool behind the scenes, you guys explaining that. Um, and then, like I said, um, really cool, like just equipment partnerships that you guys were able to get. And um, that's that setup's going to look really cool over there. And I'll just mention there's there's a pretty big area for the strongman area. So um, that's good. It'll be a fun it'll be a fun space for sure for anybody uh, just at the event. Great. Well, I think. Kurt, you should probably talk about the uh, the best part of this whole event, which I think I, I'm mind blown at, at what you were able to pull together for podium finishers, but also for athletes just in general. Absolutely. So this is really cool. Uh, so First Form, uh, being the presenting sponsor, they actually stepped up almost immediately and they guaranteed us eight $400 prize packs. And those are going to be for our podium winner so the open division men's and women's for each weight will be taking home a four hundred dollar prize pack from first form uh so thank you first awesome. form for that that right there i so I, i've competed for seven years now i have taken home i think like a set of like knee sleeves once at one competition yeah. uh so for yeah. this to be I just like a normal above. oh no, I, I actually still have them um but uh this is really cool because uh, this is just one of a kind. So again, that's just for the podium winners. Uh, we also have from Freedom Strength. So Freedom Strength is actually making, I'm holding one of their sandbags right now, one of the 200 pounders. They're making special edition sandbags that'll actually have the Home Gym Con logo printed on those. And they're gonna be coming uh, between 125 to 300 pound in 25 pound increments. And uh, we're gonna be giving away almost all of those uh, after the competition. Um, if I'm being honest, I don't have a need for two sets of sandbags. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be giving away all those. That's gonna be raffle style drawing. Uh, so if you do the math on that, that's what like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, 10, 12, essentially like 12 to 16 sandbags uh, that we're gonna be giving away. So right there, if you pay your ticket to get into the comp, you just made your ticket price back with a prize. And that's considering that you did win the first prize for your category. Uh, right. Ab mat is gonna be these ab mat crash mats, as well as down here, uh, we have the ab mat log crash mats. Now the log crash mats are like 400 bucks. Yeah, $395 by wow. themselves. And one set of those is not coming home. So they sent me a set to give away at home gym con. So again, one of those will get raffled one set, maybe two sets of the crash mats, and then a whole bunch of sled spacers. So we're gonna be using these uh, to make loading the yoke in the frame just a little bit easier and unloading the yoke and frame a little bit easier. And I'm gonna be giving yeah. away two of the 15 packs of those. Uh, lastly, for Man, surplus strength. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, Andrew. Love it. I was just, I, I, love, I gotta say on ab mats, these, so I love ab mat crash pads, been using them for years, but I ordered sled spacers first and foremost for uh, spacing on my axle. So I didn't want my plates, my pretty little plates getting scratched on the edge of the, the axle collars. So I ordered the sled spacers and I cannot believe the utility that those things provide. I've been using them across all of my equipment, not just the sleds, but I've been using them on the on the collars, on my, my rack. I've been using them on uh, actually my pin loading, so where I'm storing my plates. I've been using them on all sorts of things. They're amazing little tools and devices that, you know, you just don't know that they have any utility until you have them, and I think sled spacers are one of those things. I'm, I'm with you on that. So I, I actually have two 15 packs that I purchased myself, and there's only like 15 over on the wall where I store them and the rest of them are kind of spread out throughout the gym. So for those of you that maybe keep your plates on the storage rack that's on your power rack, uh, you could put those on before the first plate and that'll space it off so that it doesn't bump into your nuts and hardware holding your rack together, uh, which works a lot better than a lot of 3D printed versions because you're not going to shatter one of these when you're re-racking weights. 
Uh, so yeah, super good utility. Um, I also use them a lot for my surplus strength UPS. When I'm stacking weights on there, it makes unloading it just all that mm -hmm. much easier. Uh, and it also makes it quieter. So quieter training can be good training, especially if you're a parent and you got kids. Um, speaking of surplus strength, the, the last one that I currently have confirmed, and I'm saying that on purpose because there are unconfirmed donations that might still be coming in, and those will get published as they come out, are uh, 10 pairs of surplus strength uh, uh, speed pins. So these speed pins are awesome. If you have a one-inch rack, uh, they make getting things set up. Uh, it makes setting things up much, much simpler, much, much easier. Plus, aesthetically, they look a lot better than a big hitch pin with a handle. So thank you to Surplus Strength for donating 10 pairs of those. And uh, so the total of just the confirmed giveaways, um, and I'm looking at my, my Excel sheet here, is $6,495 worth of giveaways to athletes. And all that you have to do to enter for most of those is just sign up. And, uh, and then hang out for when we're actually doing the raffle prizes so you can come get your raffle prize. So again, almost all of these individual prizes equal to a, a total greater than your individual ticket cost to get into the competition. So I can tell you that right now, if you sign up right now, uh, you're, you're gonna have a really good chance of taking something home uh, or taking something to your gym that you train at that they didn't have before that's high value and uh, it's going to give a big return for training. That's wild. And right now there are um, 14 athletes signed up for this. Um, we have uh, one woman in the novice women class. We have six men in the novice men's class. And then once we get to the open classes, we've got two in the lightweight men's, three in the middleweight 220 class men's, and one in both one respectively in both the heavyweight and the open men's class so i mean just looking at that one right now you sign up the chances of you winning a raffle highly likely um two there's a lot of room to sign up and the cost of the price to register is only 65 dollars uh was originally made a little bit higher so um i don't know if we wanted to advance to the next slide, but uh, yeah, yeah so, so originally it was at $90. Yes. And so, so Kurt, we, we brought the price down. Yeah, we brought the price down. Uh, I was talking to some of the United States Strongman uh, people in Indiana, and one of the, the big heartaches there was that the $90 price tag was, you know, a bit too high. Uh, so, again, the, these cost money to put on. Uh, so I, uh, I did my best to, to lower that price as much as possible. And honestly, $65 is rock bottom to where I potentially will break even on this. And really what I'm looking for is just as many people to come out as possible, uh, sign up. So now there are some competitors, there's gonna be four competitors that did not get that $65 pricing because I did have early bird pricing at 65 because that was my bottom line. Uh, so right. we're bringing it all down to 65. So for the four of you that signed up, at the $90 price tag, you will be receiving a refund from me for the difference. Uh, and then the, the last part I wanted to talk about here is uh, we're gonna be doing kind of a referral program. So if you are signed up and you get somebody else to sign up with you, have them name drop me, I'm sorry, have them name drop you to me. Uh, that go at my, you can go at my Instagram, at my email, on the meet director page, on our podium however you need to get a hold of me and name drop either people you referred or people that referred you. Uh, and we'll be handing out uh, $10 bills to those people to try to, to incentivize the spread of the word. That's pretty cool. That's, I mean, that's one hell of an incentive right there. Absolutely. So you're bringing your ticket price down, essentially down to $55. 55. Is, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I low rock bottom. Yeah. Guys. <laughs> Let me just chime in with a few things. So number one, with that $65 sign up fee, you also get um, access to Home Gym Con Friday and Saturday. So it's basically like the price of a ticket to have that access for both days. And then um, like like Kurt was mentioning, there's, there's still quite a bit of unconfirmed um, prizes, but I do imagine that 
that giveaway list or prize list to be quite a bit larger. Um, so we'll have to definitely do this again in a few months. And then also, um, you may not have mentioned this on the um, slide because you're not exactly sure how it's going to be dispersed, but 5% of ticket sales will be dispersed in some way to the athletes of this competition. So that's just another uh, kind of bonus. Um, not, we're not sure how those funds are going to be used. It could be like we could eat, we could go with all right, best overall competitor um, gets X amount of money. You know, we could do something like that. So Kurt and Andrew will make that decision. Um, we won't know the specific amount until like that day, but you know, it, it'll be uh, it's it, it adds to the prize even more. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I like that idea, Jake. I think that's like an amazing offer that, um, you know, Home Gym kind of put on the table for the athletes, too. And you see sort of these awards that are given out at a lot of shows for, you know, the, the best spirited athlete of the day, the most supportive. Um, and so I, I wonder if maybe it's it's more in line to do something about that rather than um, the athlete who lifted the most weight or something uh, along those lines. I don't know what your thoughts are on that. I like that. And just for anybody listening, we haven't discussed this at all. So we're yeah. just doing that. Um, we're um, brainstorming. Uh, yeah, we're, we're brainstorming live. We're brainstorming live. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I like that. And, you know, there could probably be like five different categories that you could, could do and say everyone yeah. gets 400 or $500, something like that. So, yeah, we'll definitely have to discuss more about that. Yeah, obviously, crowd One choice the, uh, has got to be in a consideration. <laughs> Go, Kurt. Go ahead, Andrew. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, so obviously, like, crowd choice might be considered here. So maybe we put some voting out and people that are spectating can can vote for who who they think was, you know, the favorite of of that group, stuff like that. Um, sorry I interrupted yeah. you, Andrew. I like I like that. I was going to say because crowdsourcing uh, is what I've generally seen. You know, they'll have, at the end of the day at different contests, we'll ask the volunteers. You know, of the athletes you observed today, who do you think you know met these qualities or these characteristics? And um, so maybe if you, you start with the volunteers, the judges, maybe some of the sponsors who were there. The sponsors could have some input, uh, but then also even opening it up. Maybe we do have something on um, on a QR code that, you know, Google form, vote for the athlete that you think was most deserving for these sort of awards. So that way we could really get a consensus. That's a that's a really cool way to uh, to give out these prizes. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Um, I'm also wow. working on trying to get a photographer uh, hired to come out and uh, take photos for the entire day. Uh, Got, I, I need more signups if I'm going to make that happen because uh, I am not made of money. I cannot afford to, to have the photographer come out just on my dime, unfortunately. Uh, so, yeah, the more people that sign up, the better this competition gets. Uh, the meet is capped at 80 people right now, uh, but we got lots of room to grow to that. Mm. And if we hit that 80 mark, that's... That's going to be wonderful. It might make it for a little bit of a longer day for the contest just to get through all the divisions, um, yep. but it'll be well worth it. And I think this is one of those shows where that number of attendees and audience members, um, you know, I think it's definitely the platform to host a strongman event. So last year when, when you know, we were there and Honestly, I, I was not sure, you know, is there going to be anything for strongman? You know, is there a value in a strongman competitor being here? And, you know, I show up and I see immediately value, right? A lot of local companies that, not local, but smaller companies that I support, that I like, they're there with boots. We start playing around. Next thing you know is we're doing the log lift off. You know, we're doing these fun things. We're doing the deadlift party. I was just mind blown at how... French Lick, Indiana was as much fun as it was. And I think the home gym community really brought that excitement. And so just to be a spectator and an audience member for some of these events was great. But now this year, adding in the opportunity to be an athlete, I mean, it, I, I think it's an amazing opportunity. So I would love to see more athletes sign up for this event to come out and to put on a show, but then also to just have a blast. I mean, the, 
the weekend is a blast. You get to talk with all the vendors and all the all the um, booths. You get to you know find equipment that you might have never seen before. You get to try it out, and it's just a you know stellar time. So I think for all people who are considering going to be an athlete or to just be a spectator, I mean it's worth the trip. French Lake is a lot more fun than you know you would have thought if you were just looking on a tour web tourism website. There's a lot of things to do there, especially at the resort. Um, so it was worth every penny last year. So I'm excited for this year. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited this year too. This is going to be great. I'm hoping to make it bigger and then see how this thing grows. Thanks for the sales pitch, guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Great, though. Um, well, I think I think this pretty much sums it up. Uh, like I said, I like in general this convention is something that is just like built over time all the way until the actual day of the event you know we're just kind of bootstrapping all of this together so um same thing with this you know so we're we're gonna we're all gonna work really hard to make sure that the prizes are there that um everything flows smoothly the day of and um yeah so appreciate everyone's support uh and listening to this and giving this competition a shot. Um, and again, stay tuned for uh, follow-ups as we continue to uh, ramp up those prizes. That's really what I was saying. Yeah. The last thing I'd like to yeah. say is uh, if you're one of those people that Strongman is a foreign concept to you, or maybe you've looked at it, you've watched it on TV, but you've never competed, uh, all it takes is one show to either experience it and have enjoyed your time or to get absolutely hooked. If you are in that gray area where you're like, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. Just click the button, sign up. I promise you that this will be the show that you want to be a part of. This is a great supportive community. Although we are competitive, uh, I've said before on other podcasts that uh, most of the time when I win a competition, the person who I beat is the one who's cheering the loudest as soon as I beat them. So, it's mm -hmm. a, definitely a unique thing. If you're thinking about signing up or you're unsure of Strongman, sign up, uh, reach out. Yes, absolutely. Oh, and I was just gonna say, Andrew, to our, so yeah, I was going to say, segueing into the, the, uh, the potential here for some training. I absolutely forgot about that until you primed me there. Um, so uh, what I'm, I'm planning on doing is releasing a 10 week training program for athletes specifically who sign up for this um, contest <clears throat> for an additional 10 bucks, you're gonna get 10 weeks. So you're literally paying $1 a week for a training program that I would value, I think, you know, somewhere in 100 to $120. So it's a, it's a score for you guys uh, as athletes to get this program, it's gonna be specifically catered to the Home Gym Strongman Throwdown. Uh, home Gym Con Strongman Throwdown. Is there an acronym? Home H-G-C-S-T? Yeah, H-G-C-S-T. We'll have to, we'll have to the letters. Yeah, we gotta make it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. There's gotta be a good one there. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna put that together, doing that. Um, primarily, right now, I know I'm gonna make a, a PDF form for that. Um, and I'm considering right now, we also use, so I, I do coaching through the Stronger Together Collective, um, and we use Train Heroic. And so there might be an opportunity where I put that into a app format, so that way you can use the app to do it. Um, but that takes a lot of extra work. So right now I'm only thinking about doing it on a PDF form. If there is a lot of interest in this uh, program, then maybe I will consider putting it on the Train Heroic app. Um, so I'm put, building that and putting that out there for the, the athlete community, yeah. All right, well, I think that about does it. That'll be good for anybody. If you're a starter, if you're a starter strongman, or if you've been doing it for a, you know quite a while and you just need a little bit more guidance and, you know, 10 bucks is nothing. Yeah, that, that $10 to throw at programming to, to reduce, like, the unknown, um, that's, that's money. That's absolutely money. And that's yeah. nothing, too. But just for the record, $10 is what I'm going to pay you when you and your buddy sign up at the same time. So I'm just saying, about that. it's oh, like I finding should, money. I should have said more. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's the right price point because, because it's, you know, programming can sometimes be a little barrier to entry. And, 
you know, people don't want to uh, overextend themselves on something that's novel to them. And so for those who this is their first time maybe competing as a strongman, I think that that's, uh, it's good to keep the price super low for, for our first timers, but also for people who are just really wanting to come to this event to have a good time which is what I know I'm looking to do. So I can't wait to, to you know, judge and volunteer and just be part of this day because it's going to be a blast. Sure is. 